Lawn care equipment isn't just a, a noise nuisance. It's a toxic nuisance for the air that we breathe. District 5 Council Member Ryan Alter says gas powered lawn and garden equipment is noisy, polluting, and putting our health at risk. Environment Texas says in just one year, gas powered lawn equipment gives off the same amount of toxic matter as 234 million cars. If you run a gas powered leaf blower for an hour, that's the same as driving 1,100 miles in a car. That's from here to the, the Grand Canyon. That's why lawn care in Austin is now going electric. At least that's what Alter envisioned when proposing the new program to city council. Version. What we want to do is take the old dirty uh, equipment out of the market and put clean uh, equipment in people's hands. That's why I think of it as like a cash for clunkers. Bring your old equipment in and walk away with something that's new and clean. Right now, some Austinites are able to get instant savings when they want to go electric. Through Austin Energy's rebate program, customers can get $30 off electric lawnmowers from March to September, $15 off weed eaters during that same time, and $15 off leaf blowers from July to December. This new program would take it one step further. That will allow for individuals to go to their local, let's say Lowe's or Home Depot, and trade in old, dirty, gas-powered lawn equipment for a much cleaner alternative that's electric. Alter says depending on the condition of the equipment, people can potentially receive a rebate that would completely cover the cost of the new tool. District 8 Council Member Paige Alice, who is a co-sponsor of the proposal, says she's glad there will now be another option available. But about half of District 8 is not on Austin Energy, they're on Perdinalis Electric. But they're still City of Austin taxpayers and I think they should qualify for assistance with this lawn care equipment. Alter says there aren't any cons to this program. He says years ago when electric lawn care equipment was fairly new, one of the downsides was the battery life, but that's no longer an issue today. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.